Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Thanks for coming on by and checking out this video. Appreciate your time and your support. I want to give a huge shout out to TK Bay. The information I'm going to share with you, uh, I got from his video that he has up right now on an app that is called Cover Screen OS, which has the ability to allow you to have your apps on your cover screen of your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 and 3. Anything before that, I don't know. Hopefully I can get all the information uh, about this app, uh, cover all of that here in this video, but I would suggest that you go watch TK Bay's video as well. He's a really thorough guy. Uh, so I'm gonna do my best, but go check out his vid. And again, huge shout out to TK Bay, or else I wouldn't have known about this. I mean, eventually I would have found out, but I'm glad that I uh, got his notification uh, on this app that only works with a flip phone. Whether it's the flip four or the flip three, it's not gonna work on a candy bar shaped phone, a regular smartphone. Okay, it's gonna say it's not compatible. The purpose of this app is to work on a cover screen that we got going on here on my Z Flip 4. Again, the three as well. Now, I don't have it installed. I uninstalled it. I went in, installed it, went through the tutorial, uh, it gives you a tutorial uh, and it, it's going to ask you to go through and um, give permissions and uh, then it's you have the ability to purchase a monthly, a yearly or lifetime. Purchasing a lifetime is going to get rid of the ads that are going to be uh, on this app. Uh, so if you don't like ads, you can get a, a, uh, a lifetime subscription, a one-time fee. Uh, right now I only got a monthly. I just wanted to try it out to make sure I want to pay the, uh, the, uh, lifetime, uh, subscriptions. So really quick, let's go in and install the app. There it is. Takes a few seconds. Here we go. Now, this is the information we're first greeted with. Cover Screen OS, welcome my Project 13. Before we set up and get started, please do note that this is a beta app under active development. Please bear with the bugs and unexpected behavior while the OS matures. Then you want to tap on the arrow, and it is here that you're going to have to go in and give the permissions that it's asking for. The first one is grant appear on top permission. So you tap on that and you see it says appear on top. And we're gonna scroll down to cover screen OS. And then we're gonna go back, enable accessibility service. We're gonna tap on that area, installed apps. And there's cover screen OS and we're gonna turn that on. But first it's going to give you all this information and you want to allow so just read everything we'll try to go a little quick here and then we'll go back grant notification access right here bam and here's some more information that you need to read you need to know what you're allowing okay and if you're okay with everything then then you're good so at this point allow allow and now we can go forward. You wouldn't be able to go to the next step with this arrow here until all of those permissions were taken care of. And this is pretty much the tutorial uh, of how you're gonna be able to utilize the app as far as swiping to the right, left, up or down. And it's giving you the stock OS right here in comparison to the cover screen OS. Okay, so green is stock OS, red is cover screen OS. Just give you a quick look at that. All right, so let's hit the check mark there about feedback. Uh, the feedback area, if you do run into any bugs, or you have a request, you can send some feedback to the developer. And uh, so at least they know what they need to work on. That's very, very important. Now, as far as uh, purchasing a subscription, support dev pack, and it gives you all the information there. 
We have settings, general, resume apps on main screen. Uh, I don't want to time out after five seconds. I'm going to put 60 seconds, high notifications content until unlocked. Uh, edge lighting, you can play around with that. Again, the, the all these options here are still under beta. App drawer and you got color ID screen here. So this is stuff that you can mess around with. Any issues you do run into, again, send feedback to the developer. So let's go home. And uh, so basically that's about it. All right, let's double tap. And from here you can swipe over to the left and go into your notifications or swipe over to the right to get into your widgets. And most of you know that. From here you want a single tap and I'm gonna choose YouTube. It will ask for your fingerprint, which is cool. And I have a video right there. Extreme Skins install for my Google Pixel 6a. And we have an ad. Huge shout out to Extreme Skins for just six dollars a month you for can sending save the highlights. those skins to me for the 6a subscribe today at google store all right let's go ahead and skip that video is already in process can turn that up now this is really cool like if you're at work and you want to show somebody a video and you're, it, it's on the fly because obviously you're working, maybe it's a friend, a family member, you can just utilize this app without having to go into your flip device, whether it's the four or the three, which is really, really cool. Uh, if you go down from where we're at right here, it starts to take you out of that page. And there we go. And then I can... X out of that video right there. I have to get used to touching all those little areas on this tiny little screen. But once you get used to it after a while, it'll be like nothing, right? Anyway, so if I go up, it'll take me back to my apps. I would just utilize the ones that would make more sense on a little display like this. Here's my movie app, MX Player Pro. Um, I'm not going to play a movie, but that's crazy. Yeah, because if I play a movie, then, uh, well, let me go over to my uh, camera here. I can play this. This is my own video. Check that out, man. That is so cool. Look at that. Anyway, I'm not going to go on any longer. If you have any questions, please ask down below in the comment section. Uh, again, go and check out TK Bay's video. He has a little more information. He's a little more informative, a little more thorough. Uh, I, I, I was just checking out the video and I wanted to come over and make a quick video. I know it's not that quick, but hopefully it was enough to get you going. And as you are learning about the app, I'm sure you're going to discover a lot more that you can do with it than I have at this point in the game. Like I mentioned earlier, this is a beta app. It's a work in progress. So if you run into anything that's negative, please let the developer know. And if you have a request, let them know. That's what's going to make this app a great app to have on a device like your Z Flip 3, 4, uh, and eventually whatever else comes out that this app can work with. So anyway, with that, thanks for watching. Stay safe and healthy. Peace. God bless you.